and Dragons movie that has nothing to do with the original films made back in the early 21st century. Is it any good? Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves is the story of this guy played by Chris Pine who's trying to get his wife back from the dead. Now when you're making a movie on a brand or an IP, in this case Dungeons and Dragons, you need to make a good film in a couple of ways. You need to make a film that critics all love so the film will have good critic ratings and you'll need to make a film that the audience loves. I'd say it's more important to make a film that the audience loves. Because if the audience hates a film but the critics love it, yes, it'll get good critics ratings and yes, it'll win a few awards, but the film will not make that much money if the audience hate the film. And it especially goes for films that are on a, the brand of an IP. They need to be a film that respects the IP. That is just so important. And if it doesn't, that film will probably not make much money at the box office at all because the fans won't like the film and they'll tell other fans not to see the film because it does not respect the IP. But does Dungeons and Dragons respect its IP? And will the fans be crossed by it? While I am not a huge D&D fan, yes, I have played it a bit, but... I'm not a huge D&D fan, I know people who are, and they liked this movie a lot, well most of them did. And that's a really good sign, it shows that this movie is respecting D&D. And the Rotten Tomatoes audience consensus says this as well, it respects the source material. And that's why the audience love the film, and the critics do as well, which is just bonus. It's and great. one thing that I think is super important for a film is that people who are not fans can still enjoy the film. That I can tell you. People who are not fans will still enjoy this film, I'm sure. The film was just so well done. I really enjoyed it. I liked the story of this film. I was interested in it. And I liked the characters as well. The characters were just great. The production design is just great. The costumes are great. The film has a lot of production value. And you can see it here. And the writers of this script know how to write comedy. This was such a funny movie. There has not been a movie that's made me laugh like this this whole year. This is definitely the funniest movie of the year. Now, some of the funniest scenes of the movie is a scene with corpses. That is just so funny. That is one of the best scenes of the movie. It is just so, so, so funny. And I just love that scene. And it's so good that the last scene in the movie was just so funny. I don't really see that that much in movies, but it's sticking in my mind now. That scene is just so funny at the end of the movie. While it does have some great ideas and it is a pretty good film, it is by no means a perfect film. I'd be lying if I said the very start was that interesting. And the film is a bit too triad funny. This is my largest issue with the film. These people are criminals. Why is nobody chasing after them after they escaped from prison? This film was just so much fun and you do not have to be a massive D&D &D fan to enjoy it. I'm going to give Dungeons and Dragons on Among Thieves a B+. Please check it out. It is a lot of fun. It is just such a fun movie. It should not have bombed at the box thank office. So, and thank you so much for watching. And look forward to more videos coming soon. And I'm the Grinning Critic. And don't forget to subscribe to me.